it's Torben Tuesday. How's it going everyone? JKXVX here. We're back on Forza Horizon 4 once again for another Torben Tuesday. Even though update 23 was released just last week and it was delayed, it was broken, they had issues with it, update 24 seems to be still on track because today we have all of the clues and the Torben Tuesday for update 24. As always guys, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing to the channel as I try to get all the latest information and clues and cars about every update as soon as possible to upload. So today we are taking a look at the four clues that we've been given about what's going to be in update 24 next week. We have four clues, all four of them are seen pointing towards cars, so we'll have to see about that. But yeah, let's take a look at what could be in update 24. So as always, we have been given a tweet, but within that tweet, there is usually an image, and it's usually the image which has all of the clues. But Playground Games are still seemingly working from home, so we only have text for the clues this week. As you can see on screen, the image is sort of empty and the text above it are the clues. So let's read out the clues now. The first one is, can you wing it in Zealand? No, not that one. Second clue is, groups of five must be escorted while listening to talking heads. The third one is, only six of Urkol's best. And the fifth one is, 53S270192, 380934281824 minus G85. That's a bit of a weird clue. As always, what I do is I go through the Twitter replies, I go through my DMs, I go through the Forza forums, and I also personally guess them myself, and I get together the best guesses for each clue. And this week, I think we may have all four of them correctly. Let's see if you agree. So let's start off with the first clue, which is, can you wing it in New Zealand? No, not that one. Now, most people, when they see the word Zealand, they would probably think about New Zealand, you know, the, the, the big country. However, I think that's why they put no, not that one at the end. They're trying to steer us away from New Zealand towards something else called Zealand. Now, in the country called Denmark, there is an island called Zealand. And the cool thing about Denmark is there's a few car manufacturers there, one of which is Zenvo. And there is a car called the Zenvo TSRS, which has a very big wing, which moves about, as you can see on screen. That seems like the most logical guess and best guess for this clue. Can you wing it in Zealand? Zealand being the Denmark island, the Zenvo being made in Denmark from there with a massive wing that's known to move about. Now the cool thing about this is the Zenvo TSRS is actually in the leaked car list that, that seem to be correct so far. There's been loads of cars that have been added from that leaked car list. So let me know what you think. Do you think that the Zenvo is the, the first clue? You'll have to let me know. If it is, that's really cool. Now the second clue which reads the following. Groups of five must be escorted when listening to talking heads. Now this one we've seem to have nailed on the head also. Groups of five and then the word escorted instantly hints towards the Ford Escort Mark II number five or group five. Sort of a vague guess, there's not many things that link it towards it, you know, the number five and then the word escort. However, in the clue it also says when listening to talking heads. Now if you Google talking heads, it is actually a rock band. And back in 1977, they released an album called 77. And believe it or not, the Ford Escort Mark II Group 5 is from 1977 matches up perfectly. So there's three things in this clue that hint towards the Ford Escort Group 5 Mark II from 1977 being the car that it's hinting towards, or the Zack Speed Ford Escort it's also known as. So that seems like another pretty good guess. Do you think it's going to be that? It's the Ford Escort Mark II? We'll have to see. Now the other interesting thing, this car is also on the leaked car list. Two out of two so far, and the leaked car list has been pretty accurate. Let's move on to the third clue. Only six of Urkel's best. Now, I presume I'm pronouncing that correctly. However, this one, another pretty obvious one, Ford GT70. Now, if you Google the Ford GT70, you will see that only six of them were ever made, and they were made or designed by the designer Urkel Sparda. Only six of Urkel's best, the Ford GT70, only six of them were ever made, 
and they were designed by a guy called Urkel. So that's that third clue, pretty damn obvious, the Ford GT70, which is also on the leaked car list. So that's another pretty obvious one. Now the fourth clue, this is sort of the weak one. However, there's a few things that, well, let's, let's talk about the fourth clue. Now the fourth clue is a load of numbers and these are usually the hardest clues to guess because they could be dates, they could be numbers that are letters, they could be encrypted, they could, you know, they could be all sorts. But I've seen a few people guess the Magster RX-7 from 1985, and only one person's actually been specific about it. And if we take the last part of the clue, 1824 and then 85, the 18th letter of the alphabet is R, the 24th letter of the alphabet is X. And then G, G is the seventh letter of the alphabet, and then 85, 1985. So this directly spells RX7 1985. I have absolutely no idea what the first bunch of numbers mean. I'm presuming that they, it, it spells out Mazda in some kind of way, but since the end of it directly spells out RX7 um, in 1985, it could very well be the Mazda RX-7 from 1985. Now, maybe the first bunch of numbers don't spell out Mazda. They could spell out Widebody or something like that. Maybe it's a, quite a cool version of the RX-7 1985 we're getting. Let's see if anyone manages to crack the first big number in this clue to see if it really does spell out Mazda. But nevertheless, the end of it does say RX-7 1985. And that is all four of the clues nailed on the head if you ask me i'll be surprised if any of them are wrong however that's still a possibility the mazda isn't on the leaked car list but that doesn't mean anything um the other three are so the ford escort the ford gt40 and the zenvo is on the leaked car list and it's a pretty good variety of cars we've got a big super slash hyper car we've got an old kind of rally type car we've got an old classic race car and then the Mazda, it's pretty good variety if you ask me, and I'm looking forward to that Zenvo, that's for sure. So the Zenvo, the Ford Escort, the Ford GT40, uh, sorry, Ford GT70, and then the Mazda RX-7 1985 are the guesses for this month's Torben Tuesday. As always, I'm going to be live streaming this Thursday for last month's cars that are just releasing, and then next week on Monday, if all goes to plan this month, on Monday, we will know if we are correct about these guesses or not. And then next Thursday, we'll get access to one of these new cars. But that's it for the guesses today, guys. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more thoughts about more content. I'll see you all later.